Black history. Those two words had the power to bring about many mental pictures. These images range from the tribal communities of pre-colonial Africa and the slaves of early America to civil rights heroes such as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks. They continue on to modern day activists like Louis Farrakhan, political leaders like Jesse Jackson, and military leaders like Colin Powell. The history of black Americans also evokes emotions ranging from anger to shame to pride. Join us as we travel back in time and explore black history. The number of slaves taken from African shores continued to grow. Blacks also accompanied many European explorers in their travels to the new lands being discovered. In the early 1500s, the Spanish colonists in Cuba were given permission to use slaves. This propelled the growth of the slave trade. 1515 saw the first shipment of sugar grown by slaves in the West Indies sent to Spain. In 1522, the first slave revolt occurred. It happened in Hispaniola when a group of about 40 African slaves killed their masters and escaped to the hills. It is thought that harsh laws meant to control the slaves were the cause of this revolt. This uprising led to the passage of new laws by which the slaves were treated with more consideration. The new laws did not allow families to be separated by sale. In addition, the planters were required to baptize their slaves and send them to church on Sunday. The slaves were also permitted to buy their freedom for $300. Unfortunately, as you will see, this law, like many others in favor of the slaves, were ignored. North America saw its first slave revolt in 1526 in what is now known as South Carolina. At the San Miguel settlement, the slaves set fire to the buildings and escaped to go live among the Native Americans. Some escaped slaves formed the first black settlement on the North American continent near present-day St. Augustine, Florida. The King of Spain agreed to grant freedom to all slaves who reached the settlement. The large number of black people in the New World continued to increase. In fact, by the late 1500s, in the Caribbean islands, the African people outnumbered the Europeans. The shipments of slaves from Spain to the New World also continued. As the 1600s drew near, more than 4,000 slaves were being delivered to the Americas each year. By the turn of the century, more than 900,000 slaves had been brought into Latin America. The uprising by slaves into the area increased. This was due to the cruel punishment and harsh treatment of these people. Slaves could be found in nearly every area of business, from mines to ranches to plantations, docks and industry shops. Slavery had become an established practice in Latin America by the early 1600s. It also began the greatest period of growth for the United States of America during this time. The practice of taking African people as slaves that had begun with the Portuguese had now grown so much that most European countries viewed Africa as a land that not only provided gold, salt, and other goods, but also as a source of nearly unlimited labor. With the growth and number of plantations in the New World, the need for labor was great. However, the harsh working conditions made it both difficult and expensive to hire willing workers for the fields. Slavery became not only an attractive option for the landowners, but soon a financial necessity as well. The first workers were indentured servants. During this time in history, thousands